The Mayan volcano eruption history, from the year 1616 up to its current movement in the year 2020. Mayan Volcano, Central Baikalano, Balkan Mayan, Tagalog, Balking Mayan, also known as Mount Mayan, Spanish, Monte Mayan, or simply Mayan and Magallon, is a sacred and active stratovolcano in the province of Albay in Bicol region, on the large island of Luzon in the Philippines. A popular tourist spot, it is renowned for its perfect cone, because of its symmetric conical shape. The volcano with its surrounding landscape was declared a national park on July 20, 1938, the first in the nation. It was reclassified as a natural park and renamed as the Mayan Volcano Natural Park in 2000. It is the centerpiece of the Albay Biosphere Reserve, declared by UNESCO in 2016, and is currently being nominated as a World Heritage Site. It is the most active volcano in the Philippines, and its activity is regularly monitored by Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology from their provincial headquarters on Lignon Hill, about 12 kilometers (7.5 miles) SSE from the summit. Mayan is shared by eight cities and municipalities of Albay Province. Mayan is the main landmark and highest point of the province of Albay and the whole Bicol region in the Philippines, rising 2,462 meters 8 feet from the shores of the Albay Gulf about 10 kilometers miles away. The volcano is geographically shared by the eight cities and municipalities of Legspi, Duraga, Camelig, Guinobatan, Legao, Tabaco, Malilapot, and Santo Domingo, clockwise from Legazpi, which divide the cone-like slices of a pie when viewing a map of their political boundaries. Mayan is a classic stratovolcano with a small central summit crater. The cone is considered the world's most perfectly formed volcano for its symmetry, which was formed through layers of lava flows and pyroclastic surges from past eruptions and erosion. The upper slopes of the basaltic andesitic stratovolcano are steep, averaging 35 to 40 degrees. Like other volcanoes around the Pacific Ocean, Mayan is a part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. It is on the southeast side of Luzon, close to the Philippine Trench, which is the convergent boundary where the Philippine Sea Plate sinks beneath, is subducted beneath the Philippine Mobile Belt. When an oceanic plate subducts, it releases water into the overlying mantle. The water lowers the melting point of the mantle and triggers melting that generates magma. The magma rises and erupts at the surface at a volcano like Mayan. Mayan is the most active volcano in the Philippines, erupting over 47 times in the past 500 years. Historical observations accounted its first eruption in 1616. The first eruption for which an extended account exists was the six-day event of July 20, 1766. 1814 eruption. An old photograph of the Kogsawa ruins with the facade still standing. The church was largely destroyed during the 1814 eruption of Mayan. Only the bell tower exists today. Its most destructive recorded eruption occurred on February 1, 1814 VEI equals 4. Lava flowed but less than the 1766 eruption. The volcano belched dark ash and eventually bombarded the town of Kogsawa with tephra that buried it. Trees burned, and rivers were certainly damaged. Proximate areas were also devastated by the eruption, with ash accumulating to in-depth. In Kogsawa town, about 1,200 locals perished in what is considered to be the most lethal eruption in Mayan's history according to Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. The eruption is believed to have contributed to the accumulation of atmospheric ash together with the catastrophic 1815 eruption of other volcanoes like Indonesia's Mount Tambora, leading to the year without a summer in 1816. 1881-1882 eruption, from July 6, 1881, until approximately August 1882, Mayan underwent a strong VEI equals 3 eruption. Samuel Neeland, a naturalist, professor and geologist, personally observed the volcanic activity on Christmas Day, 1881, about five months after the start of the activity, at the date of my visit, the volcano had poured out, for five months continuously, a stream of lava on the Legaspi side from the very summit. 
The viscid mass bubbled quietly but grandly, and overran the border of the crater, descending several hundred feet in a glowing wave, like red-hot iron. Gradually, fading as the upper surface cooled, it changed to a thousand sparkling rills among the crevices, and, as it passed beyond the line of complete vision behind the woods near the base, the fires twinkled like stars or the scintillations of a dying conflagration. More than half of the mountain height was thus illuminated. 1897 eruption, Mayan's longest uninterrupted eruption occurred on June 23, 1897, VEI equals 4, which rained fire for seven days. Lava once again flowed down to civilization. 11 kilometers 7 miles eastward, the village of Bakakai was buried 15 meters 49 feet beneath the lava. In Santo Domingo 100 people were killed by steam and falling debris or hot rocks. Other villages like San Roque, Sta, Misericordia and Santo Nino became death traps. Ash was carried in black clouds as far as 160 kilometers 99 miles from the catastrophic event, which killed more than 400 people. 1984 and 1993 eruptions No casualties were recorded from the 1984 eruption after more than 73,000 people were evacuated from the danger zones as recommended by FIVOLC scientists. But in 1993, pyroclastic flows killed people, mainly farmers, during the eruption that also forced 50,000 residents evacuated, according to the Albay provincial government. 1999 eruption, Mayan began its increasing activity in May 1999, with hazard status associated raised to alert level 1. On June 22, 1999, Mayan emitted an ash column that rose to approximately 10 kilometers above the vent, the status was later raised to alert level 2. The emission was recorded by the seismic network of the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology as an explosion that lasted for 10 minutes. No volcanic earthquakes nor other visible signs of abnormal activity were observed before the explosion. 2000 eruptions Mayan had experienced continuous emission since 1999 and followed by a series of eruptions in the next two consecutive years. On January 5, 2000, a 5 km high ash column was produced by an explosion. Growth of summit crater dome and intensifying eruptions later signaled evacuations. Past emissions had led to the growth of the lava dome beginning February 12. On February 23, series of eruptions began. FIVOLCS then recommended evacuation even beyond permanent danger zone. On February 24, FIVOLCS raised its status to the highest, and one city warned of possible explosions with ash and lava flows, and several thousands forced to evacuate even outside identified danger zones. The most violent eruptions were occurred from February 28 to March 1, and since then, declining activity was observed until April. NDCC reported that the 2000 eruption displaced 14,114 families, 68,426 persons, and damaged at least 89 million pesos worth of property and crops. 2001 eruption NDCC reported that another eruption in 2001 affected 11,529 families, 56,853 persons, and damaged at least 48 million pesos worth of property and crops. 2006 eruptions Mayan's 48th modern era eruption was on July 13, 2006, followed by quiet effusion of lava that started on July 14, 2006. After an ash explosion of September 1, 2006, a general decline in the overall activity of Mayan was established. The decrease in key parameters such as seismicity, sulfur dioxide emission rates and ground inflation all indicated a waning condition. The slowdown in the eruptive activity was also evident from the decrease in intensity of crater glow and the diminishing volume of lava extruded from the summit. FIVOLC's alert level 4 was lowered to level 3 on September 11, 2006, to level 2 on October 3, 2006, and to level 1 on October 25, 2006. 2008 eruption on August 10, 2008, a small summit explosion ejected ash 200 meters 660 feet above the summit, which drifted east-northeast. 
In the weeks prior to the eruption, a visible glow increased within the crater and increased seismicity 2009-2010 eruptions On July 10, 2009, PHIVOLCS raised the status from Alert Level 1 low level unrest, to Alert Level 2 moderate unrest, because the number of recorded low-frequency volcanic earthquakes rose to the same level as those prior to the 2008 phreatic explosion. At 5.32 a.m. on October 28, 2009, a minor ash explosion lasting for about one minute occurred in the summit crater. A brown ash column rose about 600 meters 2, feet above the crater and drifted northeast. In the prior 24 hours, 13 volcanic earthquakes were recorded. Steam emission was at moderate level, creeping downslope toward the southwest. Fivolks maintained the alert status at level 2, but later warned that with the approach of Tropical Cyclone International codename Marina, the danger of Lahars and possible crater wall collapse would greatly increase and all specified precautions should be taken. At 1.58 a.m. on November 11, 2009, a minor ash explosion occurred at the summit crater lasting for about three minutes. This was recorded by the Seismic Network as an explosion-type earthquake with rumbling sounds. Incandescent rock fragments at the upper slope were observed in nearby barangays. Ash column was not observed because of cloud cover. After dawn, field investigation showed ashfall had drifted southwest of the volcano. In the 24-hour period, the Seismic Network recorded 20 volcanic earthquakes. Alert status was kept at level 2 indicating the current state of unrest could lead to more ash explosion or eventually to hazardous magmatic eruption. At 8 p.m. on December 14, 2009, after 83 volcanic quakes in the preceding 24 hours and increased sulfur dioxide emissions, FIVOLKS raised the alert status to level 3. Early in the morning of December 15, 2009, a moderate ash explosion occurred at the summit crater and quiet extrusion of lava resulted in flows down to about 500 meters 1, feet from the summit. By evening, Albay province authorities evacuated about 20,000 residents out of the 8-kilometer danger zone and into local evacuation centers. About 50,000 people live within the 8-kilometer zone. On December 17, 2009, five ash ejections occurred, with one reaching 500 meters 1, feet above the summit. Sulfur dioxide emission increased to 2,758 ton NES per 24 hours, lava flows reached down to 1,500 meters 4, feet below the summit, and incandescent fragments from the lava pile continuously rolling down Bonga Gully reached a distance of 3 to 4 kilometers below the summit. By midday, a total of 33,833 people from 7,103 families had been evacuated, 72% of the total number of people that needed to be evacuated, according to Albay Governor Joey Salcheda. On December 20, 2009, FIVOLKS raised Mayan status level to alert level 4 because of an increasing lava flow in the southern portion of the volcano and an increase in sulfur dioxide emission to 750 tons per day. Almost 460 earthquakes in the volcano were monitored. In the border of the danger zone, rumbling sounds like thunder were heard. Over 9,000 families 44,394 people were evacuated by the Philippine government from the base of the volcano. No civilian was permitted within the 8 km danger zone, which was cordoned off by the Philippine military who actively patrolled to enforce the no-go rule and to ensure no damage or loss of property of those evacuated. Alert level 4 was maintained as the volcano remained restive through December, prompting affected residents to spend Christmas and the New Year in evacuation centers. On December 25, sulfur dioxide emissions peaked at 8,993 tons per day. On December 28, FIVOLKS director Renato Solidum commented on the status of the volcano, you might think it is taking a break but the volcano is still swelling. On the next day December 29, a civil aviation warning for the airspace near the summit was included in the volcano bulletins. 
The ejected volcanic material since the start of the eruption was estimated to have been between 20 million to 23 million cubic meters of rocks and volcanic debris, compared to 50 million to 60 million cubic meters in past eruptions. On January 2, 2010, FIVOLX lowered the alert level of the volcano from level 4 to level 3, citing decreasing activity observed over the prior four days. The state agency noted the absence of ash ejections and relative weakness of steam emissions and the gradual decrease in sulfur dioxide emissions from a maximum of 8,993 tons per day to 2,621 tons per day. 7,218 families within the 7 to 8 kilometers danger zones returned to their homes, while 2,728 families residing in the 4 to 6 kilometers danger zone remained in the evacuation centers pending a decision to further lower the alert level. On January 13, 2010, FIVOLX reduced the alert level from 3 to 2 due to a further reduction in the likelihood of hazardous eruption. 2013 Phreatic Eruption, on May 7, 2013, at 8 a.m. PST, the volcano produced a surprise phreatic eruption lasting 73 seconds. Ash, steam and rock were produced during this eruption. Ash clouds reached 500 meters above the volcano's summit and drifted west-southwest. The event killed five climbers, of whom three were German, one was a Spaniard living in Germany, and one was a Filipino tour guide. Seven others were reported injured. The bodies of the hikers were soon located by the authorities. However, due to rugged and slippery terrain, the hikers' remains were slowly transferred from Camp 2 to Camp 1, the site of the rescue operations at the foot of the volcano. According to Dr. Butch Rivera of Bicol Regional Training and Teaching Hospital, the hikers died due to trauma in their bodies, and suffocation. Authorities were also able to rescue a Thai national who was unable to walk due to fatigue and had suffered a broken arm and burns on the neck and back. Despite the eruption, the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology stated that the alert level would remain at zero. No volcanic earthquake activity was detected in the 24 hours prior to the eruption, and no indication of further intensification of volcanic activity was observed, and no evacuation was being planned. 2018 activity, on January 13, 2018, at 4.21 p.m., a phreatic eruption occurred that propelled a grayish steam and ash plume approximately 2,500 meters high that drifted to the southwest side of the volcano. The activity lasted approximately 1 hour and 47 minutes and traces of ash fell in Barangay Onaling, Daraga, Barangays Sua, Quiringay, Tumpa, Ilawad and Salugan of Kamalig Alert Level 4 was maintained at the volcano for the rest of January and all throughout the month of February as it remained restive. On March 6, 2018, after observing a decline in volcanic activity, Fivolx dust downgraded the alert level back to Alert Level 3. On March 29, 2018, after observing a further decline in activity, Fivolx dust lowered the alert level back to alert level 2 signifying the end of Mayan's eruptive activity and the volcano's decline to a moderate level of unrest. On December 26, 2018, Mayan caused two phreatic explosions but maintains alert level 2, and in Barangays Tandarora, Mananila, and Trevisia in Guinobatan. Sulfuric odor was noted by residents of Kamalig town proper. 2020 Crater Glow Mayan Volcanoes Crater glowed on January 27, prompting Fivolx to warn of possible steam eruptions, just prior before monitoring equipment in the Mayan Volcano Observatory of Fivolx was stolen. Thank for tuning in to another Dazzling Ideas, about Mayan Volcano. If you find this video helpful don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for more dazzling ideas.